Welcome to Eating Enlightenment. I'm Jared. Today we're talking about milk cravings, milk food cravings. And milk is a nice food to talk about because while it can be binged upon, most people who don't understand their milk cravings, there are very straightforward and pretty easy to understand reasons that have nothing to do with binge eating about why you are craving milk. We'll get into these reasons in just a sec. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe if you like this stuff. And these three reasons, hydration, not enough calories, and then lacking calcium or vitamin D. So let's just cover these three things real quick. Milk contains water, protein, and fat. There's a lot of those in milk. In comparison to juice, there's a lot of sugar in juice, not as much fat, not as much protein. Now, milk can have some sugars, but generally speaking, it's going to have around 9 grams of sugar, 6 to 9 grams of sugar per cup instead of like 20 to 30 for juice. So a lot less sugar, a lot more water, protein, and fat. Now, you might wonder, like, why does all this matter? Well, for the first reason, dehydration. If you are working, if you are living life in 21st century, you're under stress. And when you're under stress, you're, you can get disconnected from your body and ignore your body's kind of more subtle, quiet uh, cravings for water. And sometimes what happens is that if you're, if you keep, if you have a low grade stress level or you just have a hard time listening to your body, you'll not go for hours without drinking water. Could be for hours. Might, you might not even drink water before bed. So now you're really dehydrated in the morning. It's easy to become dehydrated, especially when there's any sort of stress or disconnection from your body. And when you're also under stress and disconnect from your body, it's likely that you are skipping meals on accident, not eating enough on accident. And if you think about it, when you're stressed, you're thinking about other things, you're in a meeting, so you don't have time to, to go drink water or to have a nice bowl of oatmeal, eggs, not eggs and oatmeal, but like oatmeal, you don't have a chance to have a hearty meal when you're stressed out and running. So you can be easily dehydrated. You can easily be missing out on some necessary caloric requirements. And those are the first two and most powerful reasons you're craving milk. Let's look at what milk does for you. First of all, when you have milk, it's usually paired with something, right? Cookies and milk, but also milk and peanut butter and bread. You'll have milk with cereal, milk with a muffin. Usually milk is paired with something. And what that does is it gets you the hydration and it gets you the um, calories that your body probably needs. Now, okay, maybe you are just craving milk. Well, it turns out that milk itself is a great source of calories, a great rich source of food. Ever wonder why infants breastfeed? The fat, the protein, and the water is so good for infants and all of mammals, really, right? If you think about a little baby or or an, or an animal, all these animals love milk because when you're depleted, when you're not hydrated, when you're not eating enough, milk is like your savior, really. It's life-giving. So you're probably craving milk because you're just not quite eating enough. You're, you're, you're stressed out or not listening to your body, and you're probably dehydrated, okay? Now, the other two reasons, lacking uh, vitamin A or vitamin D, vitamin C or vitamin D, oftentimes milk in Western society is fortified with vitamin D. And now vitamin D, I'm sure you've heard that it helps with fighting off COVID, but your body needs it. It comes from sunlight, and oftentimes we don't get a lot of sunlight. And finally, sometimes we don't get a lot of calcium either. And so these vitamin D and vitamin C uh, uh, vitamins, your body can become depleted on it. And it's pretty natural for your body to crave things that give um, your body the mineral that it is deficient in. Like sometimes I'm deficient in vitamin C and I can tell that I will start craving oranges. I will just really want oranges. 
and I'll have like five or 10 of them, not 10, like I'll have like two or three. And I feel that's me, get my body requesting, hey, you're a little bit low on vitamin C right now. Go have some oranges so that you can restock on vitamin C. So this could be happening as well with uh, the milk because the milk has the vitamin D and the vitamin C. The not, the, not, not the vitamin C, what am I thinking? The calcium, the calcium, what am I thinking? I apologize, that was a, a, a tongue twister. Vitamin C, calcium. Anyways, milk has calcium and vitamin D. <laughs> All right, so if you're low on those, you'll also have a reason to crave milk. And if you look at what happens when you're low on vitamin when you're low on calcium and vitamin D, it's probably because your diet is mainly processed foods. It's mainly foods that are coming from restaurants. It is mainly foods that are coming in bags, like like chips or prepared food, or like even uh, takeout. When you have all these things from restaurants and processed foods, um, it just takes away the nutritional value. It's weird. It's like if you get a sandwich from Quiznos or Subway or whatever, and it's like, this is your sandwich from Quiznos or Subway, and you take the same ingredients, bread and lettuce and carrots or, or meat and cheese and, and, and veggies and stuff, same ingredients, but this one you buy it from the store, this one you buy it from Quiznos, this is gonna have way more uh, of those minerals, right? So if you're just getting things from boxes, from restaurants, things that are not found naturally in nature or that you're not preparing yourself. You might be eating too bland of a diet. You might be uh, having some vitamin deficiencies going on, especially if you are just eating carbs, right? If you're having cereal, some croissants, bread, muffins, uh, like pasta, spaghetti, you know, pizza. If your diet is mainly carbs, you are probably gonna be deficient in vitamin A and, and calcium. And so you put the math together. Listen, I'm not trying to attack you here. I'm just saying the right, the most likely scenario about why you're craving milk is that you're depleted. So fairly easy fix. Drink more water, have some milk. It's a great source of of those good fats, those good proteins, uh, water. Take care of yourself better. Instead of just eating carbs at every meal, be sure to mix up. You can still have that same carb source like bread, but have bread with peanut butter. You can still have muffins, but have muffins and milk. You can still have pizza, but spread some hummus over the pizza, right? Diversify your diet. Take care of yourself, drink more water, and that will go a long, long ways on helping yourself with milk cravings. Okay. So be sure to follow, like, and subscribe to the channel. Down below, there is an article with more information. Hope you check it out. And then there's also a way to get on my email list where I try to send out coaching emails about cravings and about the Buddhist philosophy behind cravings. So with that being said, we will call it a day and uh, namaste.